I've been to two Olympics, so I swim for Great Britain. Um, I'm based in Bath and that's where I train full time. I came to Bath in September. Um, it's a really good programme for me. It really suits the events that I do, which is the 100 metres and 200 metres butterfly. Um, I really enjoy the group here. It's a really fun group and everyone works really hard and everyone's got similar goals to be the best in the world. I got pre-selected for the Commonwealth Games for 2014 in the summer last year. Um, so I've just been focusing on getting fit again after the summer and race practice and I'm just really looking forward to being at the Commonwealth Games again. This will be my third Commonwealth Games. My first Commonwealth Games I made two finals and my second Commonwealth Games I got a bronze medal. So if I keep improving then hopefully I'll improve on my last results and just be able to build on the experience that I've earned. Um, so moving to Bath last year I've been reunited with a coach that I used to be with when I was younger. Um, I trained with Graham from 2001 till 2008. He coached me to my first Olympics, which were in Beijing. Um, and it's just great to be reunited with someone who I know knows a lot about me and he cares about how I do. And he's obviously trained me when I was younger, so he knows my weaknesses and he knows my strengths. So I think that'll work well towards the end of my career and coming up to the Commonwealth and Rio. Gemma's uh, actually rejoined us. I coached her uh, from the age of about 11 in Stockton on Tees, but it's really nice to have her back uh, in Bath. I think she's in a bit of a transitional period, um, having, having been new to the centre, but obviously she's, her expectations for, for the next Olympic cycle in, in through to Rio, on herself more than anything, are pretty high. Obviously she's come here to try and really go there to succeed. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's more of a four-year build, um, and she's decided to make a change after one of them years, she's got a good three year running and, uh, and that could make the difference between just making a final to maybe making the medal in, in Rio. And uh, I think she believes in the programme, she's got a lot of confidence in me as her coach, uh, having been the successful partnership in the past. And uh, joining the programme where we've had some recent success with Michael Jameson at the last Olympics as well, I think that um, enhanced our programme and opened a few people's eyes as to maybe what we're looking to achieve. From my dad's side, he's got Welsh family, so it's great to represent Wales in the Commonwealth Games, which is a big competition, and they've supported me a lot over the last six, eight, ten years since I've been representing them in the Commonwealth Games. So I've got goals that I want to get on the podium, because I got a medal at the last Commonwealth Games, and um, last year I had a bit of a struggle. I didn't reach my best times, and I think I just want to improve on my best times that I've done in the past, and coming to a new program here in Bath, I think that's really going to help me because I've got all the support that I need and um, everyone's got really high goals and everyone's working hard together. Bath I think is the best place for me to be until the end of my career. Um, the coaches are great, they really understand the training that I need. Um, I get all the support that I need from the physios and massage therapists and the doctors and the pool here is great and the gym facilities are right next door to the pool and I've got everything I need to be the best that I can be coming up to Commonwealth Games.